Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1955 Cadillac convertible. This thing is sweet. It's got uh, believed to be the 331 under the hood. Really quiet motor. Beautiful paint job. It's got an air ride, four wheel disc brakes. I love the finish on the bumpers. It's definitely unique. We're gonna be taking it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We post videos like this daily. On maplemotors.com, I have detailed pictures of this ride inside out and underneath. Also I have financing and shipping available. And if you wanna see uh, all of our rides first, check every Monday. You can see the update on the website at maplemotors.com. I tell you what though, we're about that time, let's go for a ride. Okay, so we're gonna look around the interior on this car before we take off. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we like to play on the channel. We're gonna try some stuff out here. Starts right up. We do have air ride. We got the switches right here. We got our temperature gauge sitting here below the dash. The gas gauge is about half full right now. It's showing uh, 62,000 miles on the dash. Try our wipers. That switch feels kind of funky and they're not working. So wipers are gonna need some work. The heat is working. I got it on right now. It's blowing on the floor to kind of keep me warm through the test drive here. Let me try the radio. Radio works, little light here works. Looking around the interior. It's practically new, nice and clean. Same with the carpet. It's like new carpet there. All right, let's try this horn. It works. Let's take off down the road. Okay guys, so we're getting ready to take off down the road. Put my seatbelt on. Anything that I see that's wrong with this rod, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. The windows come up fast. hear the turn signals I don't see them popping up on the dash anywhere but I do hear them clicking It'll be a bulb out fairly smooth going down the road a little bit of slack in the steering you see that speedometer's coming up it's not staying steady though kind of bouncing all over. We're gonna try this kick down real quick. Doesn't feel like it's hooked up. Still plenty of motor power there. The brakes feel good. let a little air out of the rear. He told me to try between 80 and 100. I started with 100. Just feel a little bit of this riding down the road for a second there. So we'll try 80 now. See if we can get that knocked out. But he said right at 120, so. Still pretty similar. I still feel like I'm floating down the road in this big old car. <laughs> oh, the kick down is hooked up. Just had to be lower in speed.
see that little bounce. <laughs> Iconic car. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull in this parking lot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some outside shots. I'll try not to ruin my camera this time. I drive driving over it, and I'll do a walk around description video, point out any kind of flaws on the inside, outside of the car. It'll be separate from this one. You turn all the way, it rubs a little bit too. This car is low to the ground on this air ride. Okay, let's get these shots. Okay, rolling up the windows. There it goes. A little touchy there for a second. All right, I'm rolling them up so you don't hear the wind noise. Uh, I did realize something when I was rolling around the parking lot here. I got it, so I lowered the car down for the camera and uh, I put it right on 80 and right on 120. And check this out. It doesn't rub anymore. Good deal. <laughs> so when we first pulled in, and I had the other one on like 120 and the other one on like 110, 100, somewhere around there. Just dropping it, I guess, equaled it out enough to where it wouldn't rub on the front tire. Hear that speedo cable. The speedometer is just kind of bouncing around everywhere.
car be fun to go cruising with. That's what me and my wife do all the time. We go cruising in a car on my days off for about an hour or two, I guess. I'm turning right on this road right here. It's got a speed bump halfway down it. Kind of give you an idea on this uh, air ride suspension. I'll point it out coming up on it right here. A little bumpy. I'd have to give it a four out of 10 on uh, comfort suspension wise try to rate them. My hair is crazy. Riding around with the top down in the winter. And a camera strapped to my head. <laughs> Waiting on this light here. And we're right around the corner from Maple Motors. So we're getting ready to pull back in now. Always like cruising back through Brian's Motorsports parking lot. He always has something out here different, something cool. Um, it's always just worth driving by and telling you about it. So a lot of people, they'll buy cars from us and they'll bring them down here and get them customized. And what I mean by that is they'll uh, get wheels, tires, interiors, everything done through Brian. You can check him out at briansmotorsports.com. Oh, he's got his Lincoln out. Look at this thing. Really, really nice car. That's a show car right there. Yeah, he's got an Instagram, a Facebook website. It's his trailer. He probably hauled his car on that. <laughs> With that. He does new, old school, pretty much anything you need. Well... Traffic's a little nutty around here. All right, we're coming through the parking lot here. We're getting ready to pull into the lot. I don't know what she's trying to do, or he's trying to do. Okay, we've made it back up here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Engine temp, it looks to be at about 155. Cruising back in the lot now. Check out the walk around video on this car if you haven't already. Go to maplemotors.com and check out our 100 detail pictures. And of course, if you haven't seen this channel before, hit that subscribe button. I want to thank y'all for sharing these videos. It helps us out greatly. We do our best to get them out to you. Also, there's another channel at the beginning of this video. If you heard the music, go to Southgate Production if you liked it. Go ahead and thank you in advance. I'll see you on the next video. Later, guys.